he was impossible to ignore. Silvio Berlusconi was a giant figure in Italian life for decades on end, in politics, business, sport and on the global stage. His fortune was built on broadcasting. He constructed a media empire and made a vast fortune. He spent some of that on moulding AC Milan into Europe's best football team and then turned his attention to politics. From the centre-right, he led four separate governments, spending more time as prime minister than any other post-war Italian politician. We find Silvio Berlusconi guilty. But it was never straightforward. Berlusconi was cited in dozens of criminal investigations, mostly around claims of fraud. He said that was persecution and claimed to have been in court two and a half thousand times. Trouble did follow him. Remember this woman? A Moroccan dancer nicknamed Ruby Heartstealer. Berlusconi was convicted of paying her for sex when she was just 17 years old at one of his lavish bunga bunga parties. <laughs> but he won an appeal and laughed off the scandal. Bunga bunga became a catchphrase, not a source of shame. Then came a conviction for tax fraud that he couldn't beat. Berlusconi was at his lowest ebb and protested furiously on one of his own TV stations. In exchange for the commitments I have made over almost 20 years in favour of my country and coming almost to the end of my public life, I receive as a reward accusations and a verdict that is founded on absolutely nothing, that takes away my personal freedom and my political rights. He was a global figure. He hosted three G8 meetings. That is a record. But his brand of diplomacy was eccentric. He famously left Angela Merkel hanging around while he took a phone call. Eventually, she walked off. <laughs> he once welcomed a Spanish prime minister warmly to Italy, only to cheerfully stroll away from their joint scheduled press conference, leaving Jose Zapatero utterly bemused. But Berlusconi was blessed with an infectious smile. Rolling Stone magazine once named him their rock star of the year. He had charisma and he knew how to get in touch with people. And uh, even if sometimes uh, he could uh, look like uh, a little bit strange, uh, eccentric, but at the end uh, he was a, a very friendly person. Remarkably, he returned to politics once more, part of the coalition that pushed Giorgio Maloney into power, still a political heavyweight into his late 80s. Silvio Berlusconi was a man who lived